Hello everyone, welcoming you to Shore of Search classes and today we are looking at the IIT JAM Economics Paper 2023, question number 49. So let y hat be equals to 5.5 plus 3.2x be an estimated regression equation using a large sample. The 95% confidence interval of the coefficient of x is 0 0.26, 6.14 and r square is equals to 0 0.26. The standard error of the estimated coefficient is how much? Okay. So if I go by the general notations that we use, how do we generally represent the estimated model? y hat is equals to alpha hat plus beta hat x okay and if you recall the confidence interval of beta or uh, specifically if i'm talking of the 95 percent confidence interval of beta it used to look something like this probability of beta hat minus t of 0 0.025 and minus 2 standard error of beta hat less than equals to beta less than equals to beta hat plus t of 0 0.025 n minus 2 standard error of beta hat this is equals to 0 0.95 where our confidence limits are beta hat minus plus the critical value of the t distribution into standard error of beta hat correct note something over here the question tells us that this regression equation has been estimated using a large sample so under a large sample theory this t distribution can be easily approximated by the standard normal distribution Therefore, under large sample, this t distribution with n minus 2 will be same as the standard normal distribution. So, therefore, our confidence limits will now become beta hat minus plus tau of 0 0.025 into standard error beta hat okay we have been given three informations first of all our value of beta hat which is 3.2 so we are given beta hat is equals to 3.2 and the confidence interval has been given to be 0 0.26 to 6.14 okay and tau of 0 0.025 this is a very standard result is 1.96 so using the confidence limits only you can find out the standard error if i take the upper confidence limit beta hat plus tau of 0 0.025 into standard error of beta hat this value has been given to be 6.14 beta hat is 3.2 tau is 1.96 and standard error of beta hat is what we are supposed to find out so if we evaluate this 1.96 into standard error of beta hat is equals to 6.14 minus 3.2 so that will give us 2.94 so the standard error of beta hat is 2.94 divided by 1.96. So that will give you 1.5. Okay. And it has been told to round to one place of decimal. So your answer is the standard error is 1.5. Thank you. Now let us come to question number 50 of the JAM M Economics paper 2023. Let pi be the proportion of the population vaccinated against a disease. 
an estimate pi hat equals to 0.64 is found using a sample of 100 individuals from the population. The Z test statistic for null hypothesis H naught pi equals to 0.58 would be how much? Okay. So the Z statistic is the standard normal distribution. So there are a few informations that are given. N is equals to 100. The estimated proportion pi hat is equals to 0 0.64. And we want to test the hypothesis H naught pi equals to 0 0.58 versus H1 pi is not equals to 0 0.58. So the Z, Z test statistic, if you all recall, is the estimated value minus the original value divided by the standard error. So that is pi hat into 1 minus pi hat divided by n. So under H naught, Z will become pi hat is 0 0.64. pi is 0 0.58 divided by square root of 0 0.64 into 1 minus 0 0.64 divided by 100. So that will be 0 0.06 root 100 would be 10. If I bring it up, it would be this divided by square root of 0 0.64 into 0. 36. So that will make it 0 0.6 divided by 0 0.8 into 0 0.6. So that is 1 by 0 0.8, which is 10 by 8, 5 by 4, which brings you to 1.25. So rounded off to two places of decimal. The answer to this would be 1.25. Thank you. Now let us come to question number 51 of the IIT JAM 2023 question paper. Uh, industry has three firms, 1, 2 and 3 in Kurno competition. They have no fixed cost and their marginal costs are respectively 9 by 30, 10 by 30 and 11 by 30. They face the industry inverse demand curve p equals to 1 minus q p is the market price q is the industry output which is sum of outputs suppose that qc is the industry output under kurno nash equilibrium then qc inverse is how much okay so essentially there are three forms so form 1 form 2 form 3 Three of the firms will be deciding on their optimal output by their profit maximization exercise. So, in general, the profit function for the ith firm would be P times QI minus capital CI, the total cost. And since there is no fixed cost and the marginal costs are constant, so this will be written as P times QI minus small CI times QI. Okay. And they will be maximizing this expression with respect to QI. So let's take one form at a time. So form 1, the profit expression would be P is 1 minus Q. So 1 minus Q1 minus Q2 minus Q3 multiplied by Q1 minus small c1 times Q1. So for profit maximization, del pi 1 by del q1 is equals to 0. So that will basically give you 1 minus 2q1 minus q2 minus q3 minus c1 is equals to 0. So that means 2q1 plus q2 plus q3 is equals to 1 minus c1. Put this as equation number 1. In a similar way, go for form 2. So form 2 will be now 
phi 2 with a very exact similar expression 1 minus q1 minus q2 this is the price multiplied with its own quantity c2 multiplied by q2 if you all understood the calculation that went on for the first form when we were differentiating with respect to q1 there is a 2q1 component in the reaction function whereas the other quantities are just q2 and q3 so if you if we do the same del pi 2 by del q2 for form 2 in this case the expression would be there would be 2q2 and q1 and q3 so that would be q1 plus 2q2 plus q3 and it would be 1 minus c2 over here right you all can do the calculation as well and check but this is a pattern that we can see from the first one so i'm not repeating the calculation over and over again for form 3 the profit function is pi 3 is 1 minus q1 minus q2 minus q3 multiplied by q3 minus c3 times q3 so form 3 will maximize profit by choosing q3 so that would mean there will be a 2q3 term and the rest will be just q1 and q2 so q1 plus q2 plus 2q3 and this time this will be 1 minus c3 okay we only need to find out the optimal industry output so if you add all these equations 1 plus 2 plus 3 you will see that on the left hand side q1 q2 and q3 all of them are appearing four times so that would make it four taken common q1 plus q2 plus q3 is equals to on the right hand side the ones add up to give you three minus of c1 plus c2 plus c3 q1 plus q2 plus q3 is qc and now let us put down the values of c1 c2 and c3 c1 is 9 by 30 plus c2 is 10 by 30 and this is 11 by 30 so 4 qc is equals to 3 minus this is 30 by 30 so that is 1 so qc is basically 1 by 2 and we are expected to find qc inverse so that answer comes out to be 2 so in integer your answer is 